Welcome to LearnWire. In this video, we're going to be looking at OneTap.ai. Now, what this uh, software does is it helps you with Microsoft Excel or Google uh, spreadsheets. And what it does is it's basically a wizard or a helper uh, for those of you that do not have all the uh, formulas. There's probably thousands of available formulas, and it can get pretty complex, just like writing uh, code uh, for programming. Um, Excel formulas um, is kind of the same way. You, you're using a different language in order to tell Excel or Google uh, Sheets what to do, right? And so when we're looking at different spreadsheets, we're gonna, um, I've got some sample data right over here. We'll be looking at some of this data and, and then testing it, uh, testing some of it with um, with this new software to see if it's um, if it's good at what it does. So one tap, uh, it's only twenty four dollars. It has three um, five taco reviews, so that's good. You can kind of scroll through here and see kind of what it does, and you should be able to. There is an Excel, um, I mean a, a Google Sheets add on, and I have that up here in my top right hand corner um, as well. So while you're in the the, the spreadsheet, you should be able to type what you need done and then it will give you the, the correct formula. So we'll go do some a little bit of testing. So this would be for um, any small business owners that do their own data they need uh, and they're just not that uh, savvy at the formulas. That's exactly what this software is um, is going to help you with. So we're going to jump in. It's a pretty simple uh, lifetime deal, $24. Uh, let's see, lifetime access to one tap plan. You must redeem your codes, all future one tap updates. That's good. Um, it's not stackable, unlimited queries and cell based formulas, learn formulas, um, become an Excel and Google sheets expert. Uh, but if you're not, uh, memorizing the formulas that it's, you know, telling you to do, then you're not really becoming an Excel. You're letting the wizard do it for you. Um, but that's okay. Um, there is a, uh, some really good reviews and some good feedback right here. And so let's go and check it out real quick. So we're going to first start off in Microsoft Excel. And the first thing that I want to do is look at column E right here. And if you just highlight column E right here, you're going to see that you have an average of 49.32. Another thing that you can do is you can put your cursor down here and you can say equals average and then you can go like that, right? And then there's different ways, but I'm going to go ahead and just highlight all this to there. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish with a parenthesis and push enter. And then you can see that I have the 49.32 that we saw earlier over here is now the average right here. Okay. So um, we can also go and test this out. Uh, now, while we're in Excel, I don't see um, where you use this other than just say, hey, E. So I'm going to come through here and we're going to go into the application. You can use the application right here once you sign in and just say, um, give me the av average for column E. Generate the formula. And then it's going to say right here, we're going to have this formula right here. And then we're going to go back into Excel. Okay. And then we can we can literally just put this formula in right here if we wanted to. All right, so it doesn't really matter where we select to do this. I'm just going to go ahead and go right here, and I'm going to say Control V on a PC, or it's going to be Command V. So, can, but I'm going to use Control V. We're going to paste it in there, and now look what happens. So, if we hover over this, you can see the uh, the the formula is there, and it did come up with the exact formula that we had down here as well. So, that cross checks that does really well. Um, I went about it. A, my formula was different because I actually highlighted um, everything right here, but um, you can also do the column E thing as well. Um, so that worked really well. So let's do some other things as well. Um, I want to do like maybe a complex one, like how many, uh, times is, uh, binder, uh, in column D. So what we can do is come back over here. So we have count if, uh, DD and then binder. So this is where it's getting really helpful because now while I do know this, uh, formula and I used to, um, be an analyst and use uh, Microsoft Excel very heavily for about eight hours a day for about eight years of my career. Um, and once you get into Excel, a lot of times if you don't use this formula like every day or even every week, and then all of a sudden you, you, you start coming up with notes and you start having to write these uh, formula is down that you don't use all the time, you end up going back and referring to your notes anyways. So what this, uh, what I'm already seeing about this is that it really is just kind of 
the formulas that you don't know right off the top of your head, it's going to refresh those um, for you and give you what you need right away. So I like that. I like how there's a copy button right here. We can come back in over here and just go like this and push control V and we have 15. Okay. So this is uh, binders. Okay. And then what we would do to test this out is come back up over here to item and we can unselect everything and select just binder and push OK. And then we can put um, hover over this, uh, whoops, sorry, right here and come down here. And then you're going to see down here that there is 15. So, so far we're at batting a 100%. Really, really cool. We're going to go ahead and clear that filter. All right. All right. So now what I want to do is we're going to pick, um, we're going to go with uh, binder again and we're going to go with uh, the month of July. I want to see how many binders um, in the month of July. There should be about, because there's two over here in 2022, and then there's a couple in 2021. So I want to see how many binders in the month of uh, July. Actually, let's be even more specific, July of 2021. So let's go back into our formula. So we need to know two columns. We need to know column D and column B. So we're going to come back in over here. Um, how many binder in column D are there in the month of July in column uh, column B? I'm going to say generate formula. And then it says count if B2 to B31 is July. So we're going to copy this. Okay. We're going to come back over here. And then we're just going to go right here and push control V. So that one, it didn't really, it didn't, I'm not really sure if it picked it up or not, uh, because we should have two, we should have, we're looking for two right here. So let me go and see if I can rewrite it a little bit better. I'll be right back. Okay. So that was my bad. I used column B, but it actually should be column A. So actually what you can do is you can come up here and just put A there and fix this and put A there and then push enter, but we can come back over and see if we can fix this formula. This should actually be column A, uh, generate formula. So that's copy, come back over here. Okay, so that isn't right because we're searching for the word July uh, in here in dates and it's not going to because these are recognized as dates and July is text. We'd have to come at it a different way. Now I could go with an insert right here and just say, uh, give me the month. Let's see if it'll uh, give me the month for column A. So we've got that text there. We're going to go in here to Excel and we're going to paste that in and it gave us order date. That doesn't make any sense. I'm going to go up here make sure this is set to general. Okay. So that right there is kind of weird text A1 and it should give us the month. Okay. So I need to do um, A2 generate formula. And I needed to actually change this to A2 because it was actually going with A1 and that's why it did that order date. Let's see if it'll do better on this one. Okay, so there it's gonna give that. And then if we went over here and change this to text, it's gonna give us the one. So it is gonna give us what month it is. So for example, if I put that in right here and then we drag this down, obviously each one um, is going to Nope, that doesn't look right either. Hmm, okay. Because what I would do normally is I would just say, um, okay, so I kind of figured out what the problem is. Um, so they had a cap capitalized MM, but that's just not going to work. So you actually have to do uh, put two more M's in and then it'll give you your January, right? So then you have your formula right here. Um, and I also don't know why it um, seems to paste underneath. So I think that we need to actually go one space above uh, nope, that didn't work either. Um, it just seems to, okay, perfect. So it just did that. And we now have, you know, the 11, 25, 21 is November, right? So uh, pretty cool. And then you could also come over here and you would just say month. You could also add in a column right here and call it year, uh, column A. So we'd come back over here. Give me the year. Let's see if it'll do good on this one. The year for column A, generate the formula. And we've got the Y, 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 Y is correct. So we're going to copy, come back in over here, and we will paste. 
see so how how it did that how it went to that next line there i don't know why it does that maybe if i start up here again um it did do that correctly so look at 2021 2021 2022 okay so that worked good and then you just come back up here and say year so uh you would need these columns in order to do more things now let's go see if we can do that other complicated one which is um a little bit it's like a match um let's see right here so we're gonna say um and you could do an if statement as well but we're just gonna say how many pe quantity of pencil or qu quantity of binder in 2021 let's do that so it's going to be quantity of binder in column f okay so it doesn't want uh quotations and then we need um column c 2022 in 2022 in column uh, c generate the formula and so that definitely is not that's not correct so we would have to learn so these complex so here's where um what my kind of opinion is the complex things are going to still be kind of, uh, you know, you're going to have to work with it a little bit more. The simple stuff, like just tell me something about column, one column, tell me one thing about it, it does well with. When you start trying to reference multiple columns, it can get a little bit uh, dicey here. Um, we could try to do if um, column F, so if column F is binder, and is 2022 in column C, then it is true. So we have this true false statement copy. We'll come back over and, and check it out With, without expecting too much. We'll just put this in um, right here and push. So all of them are false. So it didn't really work too well for us. So the complex ones is going to struggle a little bit with um, you, you know, at the, uh, in one sense, you may be spending a lot of time just trying to figure that out. Um, but overall, I think for the for the easy stuff, um, it, you know, most people don't even know these basic formulas like this. Um, it'll work really well with let's go check it out real fast in the uh, Google spreadsheets. Um, so we're going to go and just grab this uh, information right here. I'm gonna copy it and we'll come back over and we'll open up a Google Sheet real quick and then we'll just push paste. Because a lot of people use uh, this, they use my uh, Google Sheets, right? So if we wanted to see what the average of column I is, then you could click this button over here and then you would just say, tell me the average of column I and then you would just say generate formula and you would just say, um, so from here, there's no copy button, I don't think, which is kind of interesting. So there's no copy button. You just have to come over here and grab that copy, throw that in right there. And we've got our average right there, 456. Let's test that out real quick by just writing the formula right here. Equals average. Okay. So we have 456 over there for the average, 456 right here for the average, so that works. So you'd have a, like, a nice little handy thing over here that could help you with formulas, but just know it's probably still not going to take you to be an Excel expert, but it is going to help you a lot if you are very new to, the, um, to doing formulas in uh, Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel. This tool um, could help you right now, and it's only $24 on a lifetime deal, so you're not really losing anything. There's a lot of softwares out there for Excel and stuff that cost um, a lot more than this, about $50 to $100 per year to use their formulas and stuff. So uh, pretty cool tool. Uh, go check out one tap uh, right there on AppSumo. There's a link below if you want to go check it out and pick this up and I will see you in the next video.